Hi everyone, thank you very much for coming back to my channel. As I promised last time, whenever that was, a couple of days ago, I said I would bring you another video when the sun was shining and the birds were singing again. Again. Well, today's the day because it's just gorgeous outside. It's, um, I don't know, about 22 degrees and just perfect. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, it's because my little next door neighbour called Zoe, Zoe is turning four today. So she's having a big party with lots of friends and lots of games. But that's not a bad noise to hear, is it? So we don't mind. So today you're looking at a little doll. She's actually only about, I'd say, eight inches. And it's hard to get perspective when you're just looking on the screen like that. But she's a little, little eight-inch baby and she's actually made of resin. I'll show you. Nothing moves on her. A little... She's just hard and solid, which is a bit odd when you're used to reborns. But she's hard and solid, and she's got just the cutest features. You can see that. She is lightly painted, and her eyes are open. You can see I haven't tied her booties, because unfortunately the ribbon's just not long enough for, a, for me to do a bow with one hand. I need a bit longer ribbon. But the booties are just very beautiful, finely, finely knitted, and fit her perfectly. She's got a gorgeous little dress on too that's um, got beautiful embroidery on it and I might, you might be able to see those little grub roses there and tiny bows and a very finely knitted bonnet. I've got a friend who does gorgeous knitting and so I often get things from her um, Yeah, because I can't knit anymore so I, love, I still love knitted and handmade things so I buy them now instead of making them. But anyway, let me tell you about this little girl. She's actually a resin doll, and she was designed and made by Adri Stoat, who you know from the Reborn world. She makes, you know, Reborn um, kits all the time, and we all love them. I, I think the first baby I made all those years ago, seven years ago, was her Barry kit, and I gave him blonde hair and a, uh, probably blue eyes, and he went to live in Brazil. That was seven years ago. And then I got really hooked on all her kits and I did tons and tons of them. And I don't know, some years ago I was looking on her website and found these really sweet little resin babies. So of course I bought them. They came, I have her and her brother, I'll show you him in a minute. They, they came in beautiful presentation boxes like um, as though it was a little bed with a little pillow and a little coverlet. And um, I dressed, they come with no clothes, and I dressed them. So this is the sister, whose name I don't know, I can't remember. And her brother I'll get for you in a second, but I'll just show you some of her features. Maybe I'll take her bonnet off so you can see her little head. Let's have a look. There's her little head, poor little sausage, look at that. There she is, with her little squinty eyes. Isn't she beautiful? She's absolutely perfect, she's all in proportion even though she's such a little girl. She's got her little, um, well, she hasn't got a nappy on, but if she did, she'd have nappy cover on. And her beautiful dress. So there she is. So just let me swap her for her brother. One second. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back. Here, she, here he comes. Now, he's slightly bigger. I think he's about half an inch bigger than she is. And I'll face him the other way so he's looking at you. There he is. Her little brother, her big brother, I should say. Let me see if you can see him properly. Yep, you can see him well. There he is, little man. So he's asleep. His eyes are closed. And he's also made by Adri. And he came in his own lovely little box as well. I've got him dressed in a cute little, like a singlet and pants outfit with a matching hat. And of course... Bonnet, uh, booties, I beg your pardon, made by the same lady who made the other booties and bonnet. Um, he's also resin. You can see his, I can't move him at all. He's hard and cold, but he's really cute to look at. And the thing with these babies are that you have to be able to dress them around where their limbs are placed. So he, because they're rigid, you can only dress them in certain clothes. Luckily, he's quite easy to dress. Um, 
and his sister was too but the next two I'll show you weren't quite so simple I'll show you why so he's the bigger brother and he's adorable and he's lightly painted as well he doesn't have as much mottling as his sister did but he's very cute and he's fast asleep and I think if you look at his face you can see he looks very much like an Adristote baby he's got that kind of oh, hair on him he's got that kind of look hasn't he that kind of chubby face and Oh, he's just really cute. So that's him, and he, I guess he's sort of eight and a half or nine inches long. And he's got a cute little tummy, and he's got little boy bits, which I suppose I won't show you, because you might die of shock if you saw them. And I wouldn't like that to happen, not to my viewers. So there's there he is, and I don't know his name either. I think one was called something like, hmm, Jolly? And the other one was something starting with Y. And I have to tell you that their boxes are tucked way back in, the, in my doll room. And so I'm just, oh, I hate to say it, but I am too lazy to unpack everything to find them. But if someone really wants to know, I, I will do it for you. So just let me know if you want to know more details. I don't know if she still has these babies. She probably does. If you looked on her website, you might see them. Anyway, I've had them for some years now. So now I need you to talk amongst yourselves again because here comes somebody else, someone much smaller. So hold on to your hats and here we go. I'll take this one away and present the next one, who is not by Adri Stoat. This next one is actually, let me see which is the best way for you to see her, is actually by... Laura Lee Eagles. I'll turn her the other way, that might be better. There we go. Let me have a look in the camera and see what you can see. Yeah, you can see her. Now she's a teeny weeny little sausage. She's about probably, I don't know, five inches, something like that. And she's by Laura Lee Eagles. And she came in her own beautiful presentation box. And I bought this little outfit for her, which has got the tiny embroidery on the bodice and beautiful little lace and ribbons threaded through, made by the same lady who made um, the first girl I showed you. I lift up her dress and you can see, look at her little legs all curled up, absolutely adorable. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? And she's of course resin and she's hard and cold to touch, so when I dress her, her little legs and things don't move, they just stay in that position. So you have to be able to work the clothes around them. And they come, um, Laura Lee Eagle's baby, these tiny ones, come with a special little medallion that she ties on a ribbon around their tummies. don't know if you can see that. It's got little footprints on it. And it's, hers is tied with a white ribbon. And there she is. I better pull her dress down. I don't want to suffocate her. So there she is. Absolutely adorable. Look at that face. Isn't she gorgeous? I think she's as beautiful as any of Laura Lee Eagle's big kits. I love her. She's got a little bonnet as well, I'll show you. Um, I took it off so you could see the shape of her head, because you know me and heads. I'm a little bit nutty. But normally she does wear this little bonnet. Let me just see if I can slip it on while you're watching. It's got little ribbons to tie, but I won't do that now. There she is with her bonnet, and there are her ribbons. So that's what she looks like. She's just a little... I was going to say she's a little doll, but she is a little doll. So there she is. That's a really, really cute, tiny little thing. And I'll show you her brother now. Because actually, Laura Lee Eagles made three versions of this baby. Well, three different babies, actually. Because that one's a girl, one's a boy, and one's non-gendered. So that one was a little girl. She's got a name, too, that I don't know. I can't remember. And this is... Oh, maybe turn him this way so you can see him better. This is a little boy, and I couldn't get any clothes on him because, um, as you can see, this little hand that's curled up like that is actually joined to his body, so you can't get any clothes over that. And same with this little leg, it's joined to his tummy. Now, he has got some little boy parts, so um, I'm sorry if you don't want to see them, but I think there'd be something wrong with you if you cared. Anyway, he's very tiny. He's about five inches and 
his hair in all his glory, except for his little hat and his little booties. And here is Laura Lee Eagle's lovely medallion round his tummy with the little footprints on it, and he's got a blue bow. I don't have the third baby who's non-gendered, but it's very cute. It's sort of lying on its tummy with its legs tucked in, body in the air, and um, little arms tucked in as well. It's lovely, but I don't have that one. So I hope you've liked this. Let me just see if I can zoom in a bit on him because he's really tiny curled up there. Now let's see if the camera will focus. I suppose it's going click, 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 click desperately trying to focus. I'm sorry about the clicking. I got out a little bit. There we go. How's that? Let's see. There he is. Isn't he the cutest little thing? So you can see he doesn't move at all and he is very lightly painted. He's just got a little bit of blushing and his little lips are the right colour. And he lies very sweetly and quietly with his sister. So there you go. I'll show you the bed that I've got them in because it's a sweet little bed. And they all sleep in there together. So here we go. I'll get the little bed. There's already someone in there. Here it is. Don't know if you can see that. I'll check in a sec. Here's her brother. And then the, oh no, I think he goes on the other side, I think. I think he goes there. And she goes on this side. And then the tiny babies just sit on top, like so. Which, of course, you couldn't do in real life. Because imagine the fights they'd have. They'd be kicking, crying, and carrying on like pork chops. I'll take her hat off. But there you are. That's how they sit together or lie together. Can you see them? No, of course you can't see them because I've zoomed in. Let me just zoom out again. I'm such a silly sausage sometimes. Now you can't see him because he's turned the wrong way. Let me do a bit of readjusting. That party next door is in full swing. don't know what they're playing, but um, the parents are doing an awful lot of explaining about how to race and how to be quick and I don't think the kids really know yet. They're still a bit little. Let's see where I can put her with her long dress. Tuck him in there. Now let's have a look and see what you can see. Oh, it's not brilliant, is it? Anyway, I think I, need, oh, I know what I could do. What if I did that? Now you can see better. Oh, that's better. I'm a genius. Look at that. Worked it out. My God, you'd never believe I'd been to uni, would you? There we are. The four babies. I'll tip them up a little bit. No, that's too high. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, girls. Talk about technical difficulties. But there they are. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. I absolutely love them. They're adorable little things. So, um, what else can I tell you? I just have to tell you that I haven't changed Pippa and Jonty because, oh, you know what it's like once you get them in outfits that you love. It's just really hard to do the changing. I have got another out, the next outfit planned already. Um, I'll do that next time, I guess. And, um, yeah, don't know what else to talk about at the moment. There's been a lot going on in the community with Holonda and that gorgeous baby Nolan of hers that she got from Stephanie and Jackie, which is just the kindest, loveliest thing to do. And all the bits and pieces they sent with him. It just means that Holonda's got someone to hold and she can play with him and dress him and just do not feel like she's lost everything. Poor girl, she um, she's not feeling that great. Oh, it must be so hard. I can't imagine it. I really can't imagine it. I was looking around my house thinking... Good heavens, what would I do if everything just got destroyed? It would um, be very hard. You, I think you'd feel as though you don't have your identity anymore. But we all love Holonda, and she does have her identity, and she is an important part of our community, so I hope she feels that. I hope she can remember that through all the hard times that she's going through. Poor girl. Anyway, um, yep, yeah, I think that's about it, girls and boys. I hope you've enjoyed this, even though they're not reborn. So they're sort of semi-reborn, seeing as they were made by reborn artists. So I felt it's a bit legitimate to bring them on. I, um, I'm a, a doll collector. That's what I've been for a long, long, long time. And I belong to a very big doll club here in Sydney. 
and um, I have all sorts of different dolls and um, yeah so um, I love showing you my Reborns although you know I only have two so far I have several other kits that I'd like to make for myself but I have kits to make um, for other people as well so that keeps me busy so I hope you've enjoyed seeing these little ones and I'll um, talk to you next time hopefully not too many days away and everybody stay well be kind to each other and I'll talk to you soon so bye bye everyone happy weekend bye bye